The Illinois Union is an icon here at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. It took 32 years of planning to create this glorious building. Welcome. My name is Andreas. I'm an urban planner and an engineer. This is How to Build the World. Constructed in 1941, the Union is a place for students to gather, relax, and study. And for 80 years, the Union evolved to become many different things, but it was always home away from home. But why do we have unions anyways? A student union is a physical building owned by the university with the purpose of giving students services. The first student union was built in 1896 at the University of Pennsylvania, but it was more like a clubhouse than anything else. In 1909, the graduating class desired a student union, but it turned out to be a very expensive building. Ten years later, the university's Women's and Men's League decided to become one big organization, and they called themselves the Student Union Organization. As an organization, they represented the students here at the University of Illinois, and on their first year, they rented the first floor of the YMCA building. But all that, it was still not enough for a building. Many years later, in 1931, the organization changed and became the University of Illinois Union, and they requested the university to build the Student Union Building. But in 1931, that was the beginning of the Great Depression. When Arthur Willard became president of the university in 1934, he promised the students that they will get the Union Building. But he also promised a memorial stadium and a grand library. So it was somewhere on that list. A goal was set, and the university needed $1.5 million, which is $26 million in today's money, which turned out to be an impossible amount of money in 1930s Depression era. Then, a miracle happened. Under Theodore Roosevelt, the New Deal got passed, and federal money poured into the American education system. Soon, the university was able to attain half of the funding needed for the Illinois Union Building. Not too long ago, the university created an alumni foundation, and those students that graduated in 1909 came back and gave generous amounts of donations. But it mainly afforded just furnishings for the building. Finally, the last of the money came as a loan from an insurance company, and that actually paid off the other half of the building. But for 20 years, the students had to pay it off in their student tuitions. I would say it was worth it. In 1939, construction for the Illinois Union began. The building was designed by Howard Lovewell and John Leville, and the building was designed in a classical Gregorian and colonial style of architecture. Some of the reasons could be that the whole world was entering into World War II and the architects wanted to keep a strong sense of American patronism. As a special touch, the architects designed the building to be shaped like a giant eye to symbolize the University of Illinois. 
As the building finished construction, the University of Illinois Union student group changed to become the Illinois Union Board, which is still running even today. On February 8, 1941, the Student Union Building opened to the students for the first time. Now, the students have a place on campus to study, gather, and relax. Through the years, many amenities were added to the building. Today, it has, but not limited to, an hotel, a bank, a dining hall, an event center, a class center, a tech store, an art gallery, many different restaurants, an arcade center, a bowling alley, a study hall, a lounge area, a health center, and a Starbucks. It is also a COVID testing site, but that's for later. The Illinois Union is a one-stop shop for everything, as well a snapshot of student life. Like other universities, this university uses the Union Building to sell college life to prospective students. Could be a shameless plug, but it seems to be working. Some of you who will check the Illinois Union website and wonder where does the First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt play in all this? Actually, she has no part in it. A year after the Union opened, the First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt came to Illinois to influence American farmers to work harder for war efforts. It may so happen that she was just invited to the first anniversary party. She cut the cake and left that same night. For about a year, the Illinois Union has generally been closed, but mainly worked as a COVID testing site during this pandemic. It is still unknown what the future holds for the Illinois Union building. But I believe that in a couple years from now, the building will bounce back to its glorious self. After 32 years of planning, it took the students, the administrators, a US president, an insurance company, and good old fashioned American patriotism to create this wonderful building here at the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Thank you for watching.